Uh, so uh, here's a question. How does, how does double or triple masking, as Fauci suggests, make sense? Well, again, that's another thing taken completely out of context. So um, what we're, exactly what I said earlier, that not all masks are created equal, that there are flimsy masks out there. And what, why are you wearing a mask? It's to serve as a barrier. And the more layers you have, the more filtration you're going to get, trying to mimic something that's more like a, a medical type of mask. So there are people that have really bad masks and they don't do that. So if you have a flimsy mask and if you read, if you just, if you just look on my Twitter feed, I just did about a hundred interviews on this topic. If you've got a flimsy mask, it does make sense to wear a second layer over top of it. But if you've got a mask that's very consistent with CDC guidance, meaning a cloth mask with multiple layers, three, three layers, that that's going to be fine. And what's, so, so you don't think that that's the case that everybody needs a double mask or triple mask and we don't want people to, to have something that they're not going to wear or you don't wanna discourage them from not wearing any mask because they say, well, I have to have a triple mask and I don't have three of them or I can't breathe when I have three masks on or I can't comply with all of this, it's too hard to do. That, that's not the case. It's, if you've got a flimsy mask, Maybe double, maybe double up. If if you've got a good one, that's fine. And this, and there actually is a private group, the ASTM, which makes standards. They're actually making standards right now for masks for the general public. So there'll be a private label that says, you know, this mask meets ASTM standards, and that's going to be very useful because right now the general public has no idea because the government regulates OSHA masks, masks for for working and masks for healthcare providers, but they do not regulate masks for the general public. So there is no standard. And again, this is kind of that moral hazard because so many people are looking for a standard and that's kind of, because there is no FDA standard for a public, a math mask for the general public, no one knows what to do. So here, th th this is probably what could happen for the other things, for the, for the medical masks and for, for occupational masks, is that there's a private organization that's now coming up with a standard because they found a market need and they're going to, they're, and then people are going to pay like underwriters, like those types of things to try and say, does my mask meet this criteria? So this is the market figuring this solution out. And hopefully uh, we will have standards uh, for public, for mass of the general public soon. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes, that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it, but, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this, and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.